Greetings, it's Maxo Diddly here, and today I am going to be showing you how to check if a string is a palindrome or not in Java. So, for those of you who don't know what a palindrome is, basically, it's a word, a phrase, or a sequence that reads the same way backwards as forwards. For example, madam. Or Otto, because Otto is Otto spelt backwards. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do public static boolean is palindrome string input. So we're making a function that returns true or a false. True for being a palindrome, false for not being a palindrome. Uh, this is going to be the name and string input is going to be the word we're going to check if it's a palindrome or not. Or the string we're going to check if it's a palindrome. So we've got two lines of code to start with. Now this first line of code is optional. So basically we're going to be converting the entire input to be lower case. So basically this is a case insensitive comparison. For example, if we took the example of Otto again, we would do uppercase O, double T, lowercase O. That wouldn't be recognized as a palindrome if it was case sensitive because uppercase O and lowercase O are different. However, we might want to count that as one. So if we convert everything to be lowercase, when we do our comparison, case doesn't become a factor anymore. So this is an optional line of code. Then we do int length equals input dot length to get the length of the string. Next, we're going to be doing a for loop. And this looks a bit weird, but don't worry, we'll go in, we'll break it down. So if you wanted to, you could use a string builder and then reverse the string and check if it's equal to the original string. But I'm going to show you a technique with for loops in case you don't have access to the string builder. And this could work with other languages. So we do for int i equals zero, i less than length divided by two, i plus plus. So we're only going to be looping through half of this string. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do if char at i is not equal to input char at length minus i minus 1, return false. So, what are we doing here? Well, we're going to be checking the opposite ends of the string, and we're going to keep doing this until we reach the middle. So what do I mean? Let's take the example of Otto again. So we'll be comparing the two O's, the O at the start and the O at the end, and those are equal to each other, so we carry on. And then we check for two T's, those are equal, so then we exit the for loop. However, let's say we did taxi as a word. So we would be comparing the t to the i. And since the t and the i are not equal, this return false gets executed. There's no point checking the rest of this word because we know it can't be a palindrome because something doesn't match already. After that, we do return true because if we make it through this entire for loop, it's a palindrome. So we return true to, to signify that. In our main method, we're going to do string user input equals auto. This variable represents user input. Click the i in the corner for a tutorial on how to get user input in Java. And then we do system.printline is palindrome user input. We pass this into our system.printline to print for true or a false. Let's hit play. And it's true because that's a palindrome. Let's try madam. That's also true. Let's try level. That's also true. Let's try Max O Diddly. That's false. Let's try a funny number. And it's true. So, thanks for being a great audience. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed, and subscribe for more Java tutorials.